Did you know the sauce that sparked America's love for buffalo wings wasn't originally made for that purpose? Frank's Red Hot, created in 1920, became the key ingredient in buffalo wings 44 years later. But how did this sauce transform from a simple pepper blend to a cultural icon? Let's take you inside the factory to see how this tangy, spicy condiment is crafted. Now let's get to the heart of Frank's Red Hot, the peppers. You might think all cayenne peppers are created equal, but that's far from the truth. What if I told you that the peppers used in Frank's Red Hot undergo a special aging process in oak barrels? This traditional method, dating back to the 17th century, is key to developing the sauce's complex flavor. Every year, Frank's Red Hot purchases an astounding four to six million pounds of fresh cayenne peppers. These aren't just any peppers. They're carefully selected from specific regions, including Louisiana, Mississippi, New Mexico, Texas, California, North Carolina, Mexico, and Venezuela. Each region contributes its unique characteristics to the final product, ensuring that signature Frank's flavor we all know and love. But what makes these peppers so special? It all started with a partnership between Jacob Frank, the founder of Frank's Red Hot, and pepper farmer Adam Estelette. Estelette's experience in pepper production was crucial in developing the hot sauce that would become a household name. Together, they perfected the art of selecting and processing the ideal cayenne peppers for their sauce. Once the peppers arrive at the processing facility, they undergo a meticulous cleaning and sorting process. Only the best peppers make the cut. After all, quality ingredients are the foundation of any great sauce. The selected peppers are then washed thoroughly to remove any dirt or debris. Next comes the grinding process. The clean peppers are carefully ground into a fine mash, creating a uniform consistency that's crucial for the next step. This mash is then mixed with salt, which serves two important purposes. First, it acts as a natural preservative, helping to extend the shelf life of the peppers. Second, it plays a key role in the fermentation process that follows. Now here's where things get really interesting. The pepper mash is transferred to large tanks that resemble those found on farms. These tanks are where the magic happens, the fermentation process that gives Frank's Red Hot its distinctive taste. The peppers are left to age for an undisclosed period, allowing natural bacteria to work their magic. During fermentation, the peppers undergo a transformation. The salt helps to create an environment where beneficial bacteria can thrive, breaking down the peppers and developing complex flavors. This process adds depth and character to the sauce, creating that unmistakable Frank's Red Hot taste. But the fermentation doesn't stop there. After the initial aging period, the pepper mash is transferred to oak barrels for further aging. This step is a nod to traditional hot sauce making techniques that have been passed down through generations. The oak imparts subtle flavors to the peppers, adding yet another layer of complexity to the final product. The use of oak barrels in the aging process is more than just a nod to tradition, it's a crucial step in developing the sauce's unique flavor profile. The porous nature of the oak allows for a slow exchange of oxygen, which further enhances the fermentation process. This results in a more rounded, balanced flavor that can't be achieved through quick processing methods. You might think that after such a meticulous aging process, the rest would be simple. But here's where Frank's Red Hot truly shines. How do they turn their perfectly aged peppers into the sauce we know and love, all while producing millions of bottles each year? The answer lies in a carefully orchestrated blend of tradition and technology. At the heart of Frank's Red Hot is a surprisingly simple recipe. The aged pepper mash is combined with just a few key ingredients, vinegar, water, salt, and garlic powder. This uncomplicated mix is what gives Frank's its distinctive flavor profile. But don't let the simplicity fool you. Creating millions of bottles of consistent, high-quality hot sauce is no easy feat. It requires precision, attention to detail, and some serious technological muscle. Let's take you inside the Springfield, Missouri facility where the magic happens. Here, state-of-the-art equipment hums alongside time-honored techniques. The factory is a testament to Frank's commitment to quality and consistency. The mixing process is where science meets art. Precise measurements are crucial to maintain the flavor profile that fans expect. Each batch of sauce is carefully formulated to ensure the perfect balance of heat, tang, and spice. It's a delicate dance of proportions where even the slightest variation can alter the taste. Quality control is paramount in this process. Rigorous testing occurs at every stage of production. From the moment the aged pepper mash enters the facility to the final bottling, 
Each step is monitored and verified. This attention to detail ensures that whether you're enjoying Frank's Red Hot in New York or New Mexico, the taste is always spot on. The Springfield facility is a marvel of modern manufacturing. Advanced equipment allows for the production of millions of bottles annually, all while maintaining strict safety and quality standards. Automated systems handle everything from mixing to bottling, minimizing human error and ensuring consistency across massive production runs. But here's something that might surprise you. Despite all this high-tech wizardry, Frank's Red Hot contains no preservatives or thickeners. The sauce relies on the natural preservative qualities of vinegar, salt, and cayenne peppers to maintain its freshness. It's a testament to the power of simple, quality ingredients. This combination of traditional ingredients and modern manufacturing practices is what sets Frank's Red Hot apart. The original cayenne pepper sauce has a Scoville heat unit rating of 450, making it relatively mild compared to other hot sauces. But it's not just about the heat, it's the flavor that keeps people coming back for more. The production process is a carefully choreographed symphony of traditional fermentation techniques and cutting-edge technology. This balance allows Franks to deliver consistent quality while appealing to a wide audience. It's not just about making hot sauce, it's about crafting an experience that millions of consumers can rely on, bottle after bottle. The story in the bottle is just as intriguing as how it's made. Did you know that Frank's Red Hot's journey to becoming a household name involved a happy accident in a Buffalo, New York bar? Let's trace the path of this fiery sauce from its humble beginnings to its current status as America's favorite hot sauce. Frank's Red Hot has a rich history that spans over a century. It all began in 1896 when Jacob Frank founded the Frank Tea and Spice Company in Cincinnati. This small enterprise would later evolve into the hot sauce brand we know today. But it wasn't until 1920 that the signature sauce was created, marking the true birth of Frank's Red Hot. What's remarkable about Frank's Red Hot is its consistency. The original recipe has remained unchanged since its inception, maintaining a distinctive flavor profile that has stood the test of time. This commitment to tradition has been a key factor in the sauce's enduring popularity. But how did a local Cincinnati favorite become a national sensation? The answer lies in a serendipitous event that occurred in 1964. In a Buffalo, New York bar, Frank's Red Hot became the key ingredient in the creation of buffalo wings. This happy accident catapulted the sauce into the national spotlight, forever linking it with one of America's favorite bar foods. The popularity of buffalo wings skyrocketed, and Frank's Red Hot rode that wave to widespread recognition. As the demand for buffalo wings grew, so did the demand for the sauce that gave them their signature flavor. This connection to a beloved American food item played a crucial role in Frank's Red Hot's expansion beyond its regional roots. Over the years, Frank's Red Hot has changed hands several times, each transition marking a new chapter in its growth. Despite these corporate changes, the brand has managed to maintain its core identity and recipe. This consistency has been key to its success, allowing it to build a loyal customer base that spans generations. The most recent significant change came in 2017, when McCormick & Company acquired Frank's Red Hot as part of a $4.2 billion deal. This acquisition brought Frank's Red Hot into the portfolio of one of the world's largest spice and seasoning companies, opening up new opportunities for growth and distribution. Under McCormick's ownership, Frank's Red Hot has continued to thrive, in 2019, it was recognized as the number one hot sauce in America, a testament to its enduring popularity and cultural significance. This achievement is particularly impressive considering the increasingly competitive hot sauce market. What's the secret behind Frank's Red Hot's success? According to the company, the secret of the famous sauce is in its special formula inspired by the spirited flavor of the food served in the early days of New Orleans. This blend of history and flavor has resonated with consumers for decades. Frank's Red Hot's success story isn't just about maintaining tradition. The brand has also expanded its product line, offering variations on its classic sauce to cater to evolving consumer tastes. From extra hot versions to specialized flavors for different cuisines, Frank's Red Hot has found ways to innovate while staying true to its roots. The journey of Frank's Red Hot from a local Cincinnati product to America's favorite hot sauce is a testament to the power of a quality product and smart brand management. By maintaining its original recipe while adapting to changing market conditions, Frank's Red Hot has secured its place in America's culinary culture.